class to your Van Gogh inspired watercolor assignment. Now this is going to be an interesting assignment. I'm not exactly sure how it'll go. Uh, we're going to be working a lot with uh, very small uh, dashy brush strokes. So first to start off what I want you to do is find your uh, inspiration by looking through the Van Gogh works. So if I kind of went through and there's a story of Van Gogh and he I uh, invited Paul Gauguin, another famous artist, to come over to his house and he painted him to decorate his house for Gauguin. When he, Gauguin would come, he painted him, I don't even know, uh, you know, 20 to 100, some large amount of uh, sunflower paintings to put on the walls all around. So I chose a sunflower and that's how my work is going to be inspired by him as a picture that I took of a sunflower with the sun. Um, and I have my image or my piece of paper ready. So I'm going to start off by taping this down to uh, the board here. And then I think actually what I'll do is I'll, I'll tape this down, but then I'll go and get my sketchbook out and try a couple different compositions with these sunflowers to really find out what works best. And once I get those three to four different sketches of just the basic compositions, then I'll be able to draw out what I actually want here on the piece of paper. So I'll give you an update once I got those kind of sketches done and the paper all ready to go, probably drawn out on this piece of paper too. So that'll be uh, an update coming to you soon. Thank you. All right, another update here. We, uh, I got the compositional sketches done which you'll see an image of, but here it is. So just basic sketches to kind of figure out where I wanted the flowers to go in relation to the outside of the um, piece of paper, watercolor paper. And I'm actually using watercolor paper this time, so it's working out really well. Um, and hopefully the watercolor will take and I know it'll work better than the last, but um, yeah. So then here is this image of it because it's really drawn in lightly due to the fact that I don't want it to um, I don't want it to bleed through the pencil drawing to be something that you you think about and see in the in the long run. So now I'm going to go in with those Van Gogh style brush strokes. Um, I'll probably lay down just a light a light wash of color first. Um, then I'll let that dry and then I'll come over the top. So I'll lay down the light wash with a little bigger brush. Then I'll come over the top with some bolder colors to give it that Van Gogh style kind of like brush strokes. Now it's a little bit tough because in Van Gogh's paintings they're all really thick. But, you know, we're just going to kind of work on doing that little short um, style brush strokes. Now remember that this is supposed to you know push your limits this this isn't usually the way you paint it might not turn out the greatest but um it's all just about kind of learning from your experiences and i think this would be a good experience to have as a painter so i'm gonna kind of go on and start with just the light wash and then i'll come once that layer dries over the top with the short um brush strokes um look forward to checking back in with you soon thanks
completed the work and I'm just letting it dry. I uh, just signed it. Now I want to talk a little bit about how I want you to sign your work. Now some artists and they write their full name out and it's really big and it actually I think in some ways detracts from the actual work because the work should kind of stand alone. And then the signature is kind of something that's, you know, once you look you can discover it really easily. But that's just my viewpoint. So how I sign the work is by, I kind of show it, but it's just a little bit down here. I just do my initials and then I write the year and then I sign it completely on the back. But I want to talk about the work a little bit. So you kind of saw it as it was being developed, but um, I think there's a good balance and it really shows how important that extra composition is, um, the compositional sketches are. Because if I would have went with the original um, way the image looked, there just wouldn't have been such a, you know, a good flow and a good balance to the image. So here you have the, the main focal point and then you have the secondary focal point and you have these different twigs that lead you around um, to the different areas of the canvas. Um, I, you know, I have this thing in the back of my head and then my art teacher actually told me after I had graduated, he, uh, I was worried about if I should paint uh, abstract or realist or what I should do. And he told me this advice and I've always taken it to heart and he said, just make a good painting. So as I was doing this, um, there's some, you know, hints at Van Gogh and there's some like hints at his brushwork and his style. Um, but mostly I was just focused on making a good painting. Um, making a painting I'm, I'm going to be happy with in the end. So that's just something to consider when you are working on it. Um, if your subject matter is inspired by Van Gogh, that's awesome. And if the painting's not going in a Van Gogh style, um, it's a watercolor, it's going to be alright. Just do your best and the biggest and most important thing is to make a good painting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed kind of watching. This is a long process of layering and uh, going over the top of it and I'm honestly there's areas that I wish I could take back but with watercolors you really can't unless I was to actually like scrape the paper away and I it's not worth it to me I think I think this painting lives in in its realm that it is right now but um, yeah it's one of those things where with watercolors it's very permanent and then if you were working with something like water-based oils or if you're working with a different um, painting supply you could easily go over the top with white or you could easily layer it and then come over the top and add white to it rather than having to use it basically from the first moment you add color you have to understand where the lightest areas are and make sure you consciously take note of them but yeah I think it has good balance and the color I'm you know I'm maybe not a water or I'm not a uh, sunflower painter but I think it went really well and truthfully when you think about Van Gogh and his mental state I don't know if he was necessarily a sunflower painter either he was just trying to paint something pretty when he his natural instinct I think was to go outside and to paint what he saw exactly how it was because he was one of the impressionists um, post impressionists but anyway hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the process and I really look forward to seeing yours and how your kind of this watercolor that's inspired by Van Gogh or Van Gogh subject matter turns out. Um, thanks for stopping in and I look forward to uh, seeing you soon and seeing your work even sooner. So good luck. Uh, build layers, start light, work dark and when that other when the process is drying it's a good time to do whatever you want to do in your other time. Work on other stuff. Um, I don't know, bake a cake really do anything but that's all I got for you today thanks for stopping in checking out the video checking out the uh, process of painting and Van Gogh inspired watercolor landscape have a wonderful day we'll see you soon